Hey everyone, welcome to the official old computer museum channel. And this is an Amiga 500 game called Defender of the Crown. So you might be thinking that you've seen it on my channel. Well, yes, there's two Defender of the Crowns on my channel. One for the Atari ST and one for the Commodore 64. So um, I seen the one for Amiga and I thought, well, why not complete and put the Amiga version. Defender of the Crown is made by Cinemaware. It's a 1986 game. Available for the MS DOS, the Nintendo, Apple 2Gs, Atari ST, Apple Macintosh, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, uh, Windows version, Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, and uh, iOS. Uh, I must say, of all the old platforms, the Amiga version is the most beautiful of all. The one with the best graphics, the best sound. I really, really find that this version is much better than the Atari ST and the Commodore 64. This um, Amiga 500 version, the Amiga version, is actually the first version that came out. It, uh, it's the original version for the Commodore Amiga in 1986. And it's Cinemaware's first game. And um, if you've, uh, I don't know if you've seen the other videos, but there's a little anecdote with this game. Is that this is Cinemaware's first game and they didn't have a lot of money and wanted to bring the game out as fast as possible so finally what happened is that they didn't put all the features that should have been in the game um, and left out a lot of the features but this Amiga version is really beautiful um, I must say so basically the um, game is set in England in the Middle Ages and following the death of the king different factions are fighting for territorial control uh, so you assume the role of a Saxon and um, you try to fight off the Norman hordes and wrestle for control of England. So um, basically it's a, a conquest type strategy game. And um, one of the very beautiful games for the Amiga 500 I must say. So basically you choose whatever you want and uh, try to uh, conquest, you can hold tournaments, you can conquest territory, go raid castles. Works with the mouse on the Amiga version. So this is the tournament where you have to uh, try and uh, make the opponent fall off his horse.
it's a two disc ADF so you need the two discs to play this game and as you see every time you do a move or you change something the map rewrites with all the conquests and the territories taken off very very beautiful graphics this is incredible for the Amiga I must say so uh, you can see conquest for example so what I can do for example is uh, get my army I'll buy a knight here no no go to buy that okay so I'll take most most soldiers possible and then you seek conquest so what you do build your campaign army I'll put 10 continue and send forth and you take the territory that you want to take and slowly but surely you will So you can see you get money and uh, you try and buy as much as possible of armies to uh, conquer and of course you can go raiding a castle so for example if I raid this castle once again Graphics are absolutely superb on this game. Basically, you advanced, you're in the castle. Another great, beautiful scene here where you see actually the uh, shadow of the fighter on the background, which is pretty cool, also. So basically you fight, and here you advance once again. I get the enemy's gold. And go back home. And here's a tournament that is called. So it's basically really a beautiful game. Very original. territory so it was a very nice strategy game 
very beautiful. I give uh, the Amiga version of uh, CinemaWare's Defender of the Crown a 9 out of 10. This is a beautiful game. Um, much more beautiful than the um, than the um, other versions that I've seen for Atari ST or Commodore. So um, it's pretty pretty cool. If you like strategy games um, and you know conquests of territories, this is the game to go. So if you like old games, old consoles, real machines, uh, you can click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. And um, If you have any uh, requests of games you'd like us to see, let's, uh, let us know. We'll try to put a video online. And uh, if you like emulation, if you like If you like um, <laughs> real machines like the Amiga 500 and the Atari ST, and if you like, uh, of course, emulation, we've got uh, stuff like the Super Nintendo, Commodore 64, we've got um, Atari 2600 VCS. So, uh, lots of stuff online and lots more coming up, so I think you should subscribe to our channel and come back often to the old computer music. So thanks for watching, bye bye.